I just saw these um, features online and the power of flipping influencer marketing is still real. Uh, some people who I follow, some people who I don't have all been posting that they were gifted and seeded a pair of these boots, sky high workwear and BOGS come together for eco-friendly boots. I'm not really that familiar with sky high workwear, but when I did my Googles and search around, I found out that sky high workwear or sky high farm is in part something launched by Dan Colon, the um, legendary New York artist who was part of all that whole um, downtown LES scene that I was obsessed with when I was in flipping uni friends with Aaron Bondaroff and whatnot, and just a legit artist in his own right I remember that iconic painting that he once did of um, I think it was like a blue candle was that the one that he did if I'm not mistaken right Dan colon blue is it, is it out of the blue sorry, is it out of the blue is that the one yeah that's the one that is the one actually that's the one that I remember um from him that i thought was absolutely incredible um that painting right this one here can you see on the screen yeah there is this one that's why i remember of dan colin and just being you know generally the guy around town one of the close friends of um sace r.i.p and just an overall good egg it seems like it and i guess these this brand has been doing collaborations with Tremaine Emery on Dead and Tears and a few other people and they put together these boots which I'm a fan of but I wonder if this whole workwear trend boot thing this whole like you know utility boot rain boot whatever it may be called that Kanye popularized I wondered if it was kind of it's kind of saw its natural end but I guess because especially in London it's been really wet and windy and stuff uh, um, during the winter months and i guess it's not going to snow that much or probably be this windy all the way through these are probably the perfect boots to wear if you live in a place like new york you live in a place like london you live in a place like berlin and stuff where it does get wet and soggy and whatnot having a pair of boots like this that you can just wear and put on and not be bothered about stepping in puddles and stuff is super helpful especially in london because we have streets sometimes that don't have great flipping lighting there's no lamppost so sometimes you're walking down the street and you don't realize there's a puddle in front of you and you step in there and you know and your whole pair of Hirachis gets absolutely drenched which is obviously not fun so these will be a good thing to actually wear i'm not that you know i'm these are things good actually wear to be honest so it comes around so to continue um, the article here says coming off the heels of a collaboration with Tremaine Emery and Denim Tears Sky High Farms Workwear engages another collaboration endeavor with with bogs or bgos the capsule showcases both brands shared ethos in utilizing sustainable materials um doing outreach to communities that they need it going in hudson valley new york the non-profit 30 acre farm utilizes oh yeah true dan colin is into farming in it maybe last time i checked around i saw him out on the farm doing some things as well as working with a wide range of local and regional organizations to improve access to fresh foods in under deserved community in new york the newest capsule delivers a reimagined bogs workman boot crafted with eco-friendly algae and comes in a camo and black colorway displayed in each silhouette is sky half farm logo signals near additionally the boots also feature neoprene waterproof insulation which is that bit there at the top which i'm not really a fan of but i like regardless all proceeds from the purchase all proceeds from the purchase of the boots are donated to sky high farms the retailers that partner with sky high farm workwear must make an upfront donation to the non-profit organization oh okay i see what they're doing there it's all the money from the sales of the collaborations go to the running of the farm that's pretty fun and really interesting i like that the sky high and bus collaborative footwear will be dropping um at north Sherman Dove street market and skyhighfarmsfootwear.com what great retailers to have on board right one two three of these oh sorry one two one two of the biggest and then your own of course nordstrom and dover street market and like really good but these boots i tried my best to kind of get involved in this trend but it didn't really work out for me because i did actually end up purchasing a pair i purchased two i purchased these i purchased these sort of like I think they're called uh, German service boots or something. I got them on eBay. But unfortunately, they're a UK 10. So they come up a little bit short on the feet. So I think they're like a 44, if I'm not mistaken, in terms of size. Let me see the underneath. Doesn't tell me, does it? Doesn't t say. But I'm pretty sure they're a 44. So that's the unfortunate side of things. I purchased these and they're not the correct size for me to wear. So if you are a 44, then reach out to me if you want a pair and I'll give them to you. Just got to pay for the shipping, I guess. There you go, right? You can have these. But then the ones I do want to wear that I haven't got a chance to wear are these bad boys that I purchased from flipping eBay. They're 
uh, YDS, um, you know, fireman boots, whatever they may be. And they look very insulated. They're very big and chunky, but I haven't got around to wearing them day to day. So I wonder if that's a thing that I actually need to do now. I actually worn them once, I think, to fabric, but apart from that, I haven't necessarily worn them out properly yet but these might be the ones to kind of get involved with but i do like them shape wise i had to cut off these flaps they had on them here i think the flaps were sweet as i stick your foot in and out but i didn't like how they looked and they kept flipping around so i took them off but yeah these are the ones i have they're a little bit ugly aren't they but i kind of like them i'm not going to lie i'm a big fan of massive boots so these kind of work for me anyway regardless but yeah that's me man that's me